Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing something different. Usually, we check out guitar amp sims and we see how they sound. But today, we're actually going to be looking at a drum plugin. So what we have in front of us here, this beautiful looking kit is actually the Get Good Drums One Kit Wonder Fusion series that they recently put out. And if you guys don't know, Get Good Drums is basically a drum sampling company that is run by Adam Nolly Get Good and Misha Mansoor of Periphery along with other few people. I absolutely love the sounds they produce. Adam is an absolute monster when it comes to engineering and recording drums. And that becomes really handy for artists like me who are, you know, guitar players or bass players or anybody who wants to create music. It gives them high quality sounding drums that they can put into their songs and it can help with songwriting, even mixing. Now, the biggest difference between this kit and everything else that they've put out in the past is that this is kind of a one-stop shop kind of a plugin and what that means is that everything is under the roof so all the processing that you would do usually to your drum kit is already done and all you have to do is just load it in and you know make it work it's magic so that's what we're going to do now we're going to check out and just see how it sounds in the mix the only thing i am doing here is that I have the contact plugin loaded up with the one kit wonder in there stereo out nothing fancy going directly to my mix bus and this is how everything sounds in the mix on its own I mean that sounds wonderful and it's insane that it sounds so good without me having to do anything it's only going through my master bus that I would usually do for any other project as well and you know in that process I would be heavily mixing the drums and you know sending them to separate outputs so that I can take all of the elements of the drum kit and mix them individually and then put them all together along with the rest of the tracks in the mix and this is really insane to me because what i can do is if i want to just write i can just go in i can load this up and i can start writing with an already you know polished and mix ready drum sound and what that also helps in is the fact that i won't really be taxing my cpu usage as well because Although I have it on high, it's still nowhere near the amount of problems I face when I have to deal with an entire drum kit filled with plugins, along with, you know, obviously plugins for the rest of the track. So this obviously helps me because I can easily just go in, set it up, and I don't have to think about it. Now, if you do wish to go into the finer details, there is a mixer over here, which has all the individual elements of the kit. And if you click here in the balance section, you can also edit sort of the outs of the kick and the snare. So there is some level of control and you can always just have this be a multi output send and send all of these parts of the drum kit to individual channels and you know, mix it further. And in terms of drum selection, there's still a variety of stuff that you have the basic snare, kick, uh, you've got three toms, so two rack toms and one floor tom and an array of cymbals which is always great. So this is how all of them sound just on their own.
So in terms of a foundation, this is great because you have a solid sounding kit in terms of the shells. And you also have a wide variety of symbols that you can use as well, which I think is wonderful when it comes to using all these different elements that you can use to make your songwriting unique. And if you're probably seeing, there's also these two buttons over here, which is uh, just a parallel compression button and a master EQ. And you can disable that on and off. If you feel like you want to have your own parallel compression, uh, you can turn that off and you can turn the master EQ off as well. Let's just see how it sounds with and without. And you'll notice that the difference is quite apparent. And I think that's just what they've done. They've really made sure that whatever stuff has gone mixing wise under the roof is quite substantial. So I'm going to start with both of these uh, buttons engaged. I'm going to turn it off and on again and you'll see the difference. So when both of them are turned off, especially the parallel compression button, it sounds to me as if the kit is more open, there's hardly any compression going on. So it has that nice big roomy sound, but if that's something you're trying to go for in terms of metal, you might have an issue in terms of mixing these drums into your track. So that parallel compression just compresses the drums nicely and it brings that attack. It makes it less roomy also. And the master EQ sort of just cleans up to me the low end and makes all of the elements of the kit really clear. Now there's also the reverb. So you can again choose to just work with the reverb that's there in the plugin or you know just have a reverb out sent from your contact uh, track but to me this reverb sounds amazing. Let's just check it out with and without the reverb and I'll just play around with this knob here so you can see what's happening. So the reverb really sounds nice and big. It gives a nice tail to the drums. I like how it sounds as well. It doesn't really seem like it clogs up the drum sound, which means that they've probably done some processing under the hood on the reverb as well. And overall to me, it feels like, again, what it means to do is you just load it up and you just have very small things to play around with and it just reduces the amount of time you would spend on getting your sound as compared to just writing. And I would also say that this plugin is not really focused towards mixers and engineers. I think this is definitely targeted to songwriters and musicians because this is just a tool you can use to get your song ideas out. Now you guys might be wondering, can it really hold its own when it comes to a heavy section and can it be nice and heavy? So this little tune that I wrote has this very heavy breakdown section at the end and I feel like this kit really gets the job done. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to increase the amount of room a little bit because I feel like this part could use it and other than that i think it just cuts through so nicely even in a heavy context that you can just put this in and go
So there you have it. That's the One Kid Wonder by Get Good Drums. I think it sounds great. What do you guys think? If you guys want to try it out, make sure you head down to the Get Good Drums website and check it out because this drum kit and sound is incredibly cheap as well. So it's not only does it sound great, it's very economical in terms of you spending the bank. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've just been trying to do different kind of stuff to showcase to all of you that could help. And hope this video just gives you an idea of how these kind of modern day VSTs sound and how they can help in the songwriting process. And until the next time, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel. And if you're feeling lucky, press the bell icon so that you know every time I upload a video. Thank you so much. We'll tune in the next time with something else.